All right, here's another boiler. I think it's my 30-second boiler, something like that. 20-inch diameter. Uh, the boiler itself is uh, 38 inches tall. With the firebox. Pop-off valve set at 100, and it goes off at that. There's an injector on this one, which is kind of rare for me. Seems to work really well as long as the water level is above the injector. Of course, there's a hand pump. Best hand pump on the market. And a really nice steam whistle, which I'll blow here in a minute. Look at this gauge. Monster. That was a real find. Here's the whistle. I'll blow that. Oh, turn down your volume. And a blower. So it draws air up through the fire. Ash falling down here. Of course you gotta have steam pressure to do that. Draft door and ash pan. Real nice hand turned parts on it. Tricot. Water sight glass. Uh, let's see, there's an engine outlet, of course, on it. It's a half inch uh, pipe thread right here for running a large steam engine. So, uh, and going down below the injector here is a drain and fill kind of tight but I had to put it that low and in this one there's a uh, bleed off valve here for the pump in case there's an air lock so when you see water coming out of that valve you know that the pump is primed and it uh, won't have an air lock in it moves a lot of water even 100 pounds it's effortless it's very easy. A lot of leverage on it. Of course, you see the water go up in the glass. Uh, overall height of it is 80 inches to the top of the stack. And the base is 20, 28 inches square, the base. And there's copper tubes in it rolled in. No leaks at all. Runs great.